All right, guys, what is up? I'm out here at one of my leases, and this is just the second time I've ever been out here. I came out when I first got the lease, threw up a couple cameras, and two of them are cell cameras, one of them is just a regular camera. So the reason I expedited a trip out here was because I'm pretty sure one of the trees that my cell cam was in fell down with my camera in it. So I'm gonna check that out because all I got was a picture of the ground and then dark. So I'm gonna check that out. I also have a couple other cameras to hang. And now that there's actually crops in the field, there's, there's beans on one side of this little creek bottom and there's standing corn on the other. So I'm doing some scouting, just working my way up this field edge, taking note of where all the deer trails are going in and also noticing a lot of beds. So the one thing about these beds is they're all in this tall grass, which is probably gonna be dead and knocked down by fall. So I'm not expecting them to be bedding in the same exact place, but it is still interesting and I'm still taking notes of where they are now and uh, hopefully some of these bucks I got on camera are sticking around. So I'm gonna get a few more cameras hung and uh, show you guys what, what I'm seeing. And it's getting a little breezy, but I really did wanna fly my drone over this piece just to get a, an aerial view. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So we'll see if we get to that point. Thanks for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, let's get going. Alright, so I just got to my first cell cam location, the one that I already have up. And there's a scrape right here, and I'll show you that in a minute. And it's right on the edge of this bean field though. So I got bean, bean field behind me, travel corridor along the river, and then the big old scrape. The scrape doesn't look like much, but there's Licking Branch, there's a scrape. And my camera is right there. So I've got some really good pictures on here. I'm actually gonna freshen up this scrape. I'm gonna turn, on, turn off my camera, freshen up the scrape, and, uh, and then we'll keep moving. I just wanted to check this out to see what it looked like. I'm at the very bottom part of this property where the bean field is still, and they're really browsing heavy in this area, and I don't have any cameras on the bean field yet, or any cell cameras, that is. So I got a tree picked out behind me. It's a nice solid one, so it shouldn't blow around too much in the wind. And I should be able to monitor everything that's coming out here. There's a bigger, the, the biggest chunk of woods is off of the property I can actually hunt. And right over here, you can kind of see the beginning of it. So I'm guessing a lot of deer are bedding over there and then coming out into this bean field. And what I'm hoping is that I can monitor the deer coming on and off the property in this spot right here. So I'm gonna get this spot cleaned up a little more. The entire tree is covered in poison ivy vines. So I'm for sure gonna get poison ivy and I do almost, I feel like every other weekend I'm getting poison ivy to some, some degree. So I'm gonna scrub down with Dawn dish soap when I get home, that's a pro tip for you. A washcloth, Dawn dish soap. And uh, as long as you get it within a couple hours, you usually don't get it very bad if at all. So I'm gonna get to work here. It's gonna take me a little bit and uh, I'll show you when I'm all finished. All right, so I'm all set now. And this is the brand new Tacticam reveal. So I got it up here overlooking beans really excited to see how it does and i'll report back to you guys with another product video like i have in the past so if you haven't seen the ones i've done already go go ahead and check those out i'll link them down below but uh here is the much anticipated tacticam reveal and i'll link to that too as well down below in the description so i got a place nice and high to stay out of the view of the deer and so it doesn't get stolen i actually forgot python locks today so praying that, since it's private ground, I know that's not always the case, praying that it doesn't get stolen, but you'd have to be pretty aggressive to go get it. I don't think most people carry around a, a climbing stick with them, but I just touched my face. I guarantee I got poison ivy all over my arm and my hand and now my face. So we're gonna keep moving here. I got two more moultries to throw up and, uh, and I gotta go check that, trip, that cell cam that I think fell down. So kind of making a speed trip out of it. The sun's going down and uh, got a lot of ways to go, so let's roll. 
All right, so I just hung my next camera and it's in a block of woods. I'll show you on Onyx where this spot is, but it's in a block of woods. There's a bean field, there's a bean field, and then there's a corn field. And then this is the biggest little block of woods. And I was a little hesitant to put it here, even though there's super heavy trails through here because it's really the only cover. But there's actually a bed right here. Right here, right here there's a bed. And then, camera right there. So this one I'll probably check one time before season. And the reason why I put my cell camera, and maybe I'm doing this backwards, but I put the cell camera on the field edge so that way I can get a lot of inventory of what bucks are in the area. And then I'll come in and check this camera one time and have an idea how much you're going through this cover versus being in the corner of the beans. So I should learn a lot, but I'm gonna keep moving. I'm almost up to where my other cell camera is. Pretty sure I was right. That is the tree that my camera was in. Damn it. <laughs> a lot of good tracks through here though. I like this spot because the corn didn't really grow super well, so I'll be able to hunt the edge of this and be able to see him moving around in there hopefully. <laughs> there she blows. She looks like she's all intact, so I'm gonna un <laughs> undo it here. But I had it on this dead tree just because there was no foliage. I'm gonna have to make an adjustment now, obviously. <laughs> Snapped right off here. So I'm really excited about what I'm doing now. <clears throat> I just took the camera that fell down on the tree about 20 yards this way, and there's already actually a tree stand set about 25 yards up the field. And assuming that nobody comes and gets it, I think it's last year's Lee it's just a cheaper stand and some screwing steps, so I kind of doubt he's going to get it, but I'm going to put a mock scrape here hanging on the edge of the field, and that big trail, that block of woods, comes out right here. So it's right where the cornfield meets the block of woods. There's a lot of deer tracks, so it should be a high traffic area, and if I can get them to consistently come check this scrape, I'll get my shooting lane trimmed up so I can have a 25-yard shot right to this scrape from that tree stand. So. Gonna get to work, I just chopped with my machete a grapevine and I got some zip ties. I'm gonna zip tie it to this tree branch. I'll show you when I'm done. So here it is. I got this grapevine and then I just peed in the bottom here and I got my vanilla extract. And I'm gonna spray it on the vine just to hopefully get them using it. So since it's pretty vertical and it hangs low, even fawns will be able to hit this. So I should get a lot of deer activity and I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram story of how this one takes off. I've had good luck starting them so far and uh, I don't think this should be any exception. This one should get used a lot. So keep you posted on how that goes. All right, so here's the final setup. I got the mock scrape right here, grapevine vertical, and I peed in it. And then right behind me, I got this cell cam and that is one of Stealth Cam cell cams. I did a review video on that and I'll link to that in the description. So if you guys wanna check that video out. So far, I really like the cameras, but I'm excited to be able to watch this spot remotely. Should get a lot of traffic. And then I'll be able to park about 20 yards down here in a tree stand and have a shot right to this scrape. So I'm really excited. Hopefully it's a, a spot that can produce this fall right on the edge of this corn. I mean, the deer should feel safe. They got corn and then they got this big patch of woods. And I'm thinking this is gonna be killer. I'll be able to sneak in right down the creek bottom, hop up in that tree stand, and uh, game over. But got about 45 minutes of light left. So I'm gonna get out of here. I got one last camera to hang. And then hopefully we'll be able to see some velvet bucks and get some footage for you guys. So stay tuned on that. I'm absolutely beat. I just hung my last camera. So on the east side of the river, 
is the standing corn. There's a ton of tracks following this naturally. Deer move in the cover. So I want to be able to monitor how active they are if it's during daytime. So I hung one Moultrie. It's not a cell cam. So that way I'll be able to know what the heck's going on next time I'm here. So I got one last camera to grab and then I'm almost to the road. I can see the road from here. And I'm already seeing deer pop out in this field. They're too far away to see, but hoping I'll be able to see some nice bucks driving home. I'm back now in my home office, editing this video, getting it ready to post but I intentionally waited about a week and a half so I could collect some pictures to show you guys. It's always cool to see something that you create actually get used by the deer, whether it's a food plot, a bedding area, a travel corridor, or in this case, a mock scrape. In the first week of creating that mock scrape, I had more than 10 different bucks hit that scrape. Again, all I did was zip tie a grapevine to a tree branch right on the edge of the field where a heavy travel corridor comes out of the thick cover, meets the edge of a cornfield. I peed in it, and then I sprayed the vine with vanilla extract. The vanilla extract acts as a curiosity scent. It gets the deer using the vine. I've also had good results not spraying anything on the vine and just leaving the vine as is. If it's in a great area, it will absolutely get used regardless of if you spray a scent on it or not. This was the fourth or fifth scrape that I've started this way this year and all of them have yielded really positive results. So I am going to continue using vanilla extract to start my mock scrapes. If you've made it to this point in the video, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I got some big things coming the rest of this year and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. But I appreciate the support and I will see you guys next week.